<laughs> Hi, this is Robin Moses and I'm going to do a, um, a melting clock tutorial. So, what I did was I took pink, yellow, uh, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple and I added a little bit of white to all of them. So they're all a little bit of the light versions of themselves. And I have, I'm going to start with black nails <coughs> and they are all ready to go and okay. With the pink, I'm going to start with pink, and pink is going to go, it's going to be my dominating color, and you can pick whatever you want for your dominating color, but I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to make it kind of just little blobs of color. Now, I have to, I have to set those, and they all have to dry, but basically you have to get the light pink down first. I can highlight with dark pink and make it brighter later, but um, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go through with all of the pink, and I'm going to make them all different shapes. But basically, they're all going to be like this. They're all going to be like starting out like circles, then then falling like this. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with orange and do the same. And then yellow. And I'm going to go in and just go in behind them like this. So that the pink one is hot, is it looks like it is um, outlined in black. And then um, green. And blue, and I'm basically going to do like this on all of them, and there's going to be certain ones that are going to come up first, second, and then they're just going to be overlapping each other, and I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, so we are back, and I have it all ready here, so let me show you what I have. I have painted everything like this. I have kind of did like a jigsaw puzzle of sorts of color and I have no rhyme or reason. I just kind of said, okay, I did red, purple, and blue on this one and red, blue, and green. So I had to add and I just added in as I needed so that it kind of be even. Okay, so now for my next step, I am going to put the, the middle of the clocks in. So with the white, I am going to go in and go into the centers of each um, color as I do it. So this is going to be white, this is going to be white, and basically I'm just going to make the clocks in here. I know it seems like a lot of extra work, but you know what, in the end it is way better this way. You see how I didn't, I didn't go like really thick with the pink or the, you know, any of the colors. I just went in there and did it quickly and then by the time I was finished the other hand was dry so let me get back in here okay and there like this and like this and like this and then I'm gonna um, go through all the rest of the nails and then I will meet you back when these are dry. Let me see real quick. Okay, so right where the, the light pink is, I just highlighted with dark and then made it brighter. So what I'm doing now is just kind of punching the color out of every nail and making um, a little brown line around some of the clocks so that it takes some of the light, uh, some of the, so it's not so stark and it doesn't look so much like a cartoon. It'll be a little bit more weird and wild looking. So there's that like this. And then I'm going to go in with the orange and then highlight oranges and blues and make it all kind of more 3D with a little bit of browns here and there and then I'm going to add the numbers. Okay, so let me go in here and I'm going to go in with my black and I've decided to take out some of the brown so let me see what you can, okay, so I'm going to go back in with the black and take out the brown a little bit, just just a tiny bit, and then I am going to start setting in numbers 
So one, two, three, and then and then it's going to just follow around with no rhyme or reason, and I'm going to just go and put in little numbers everywhere like this, and then I'm going to out of nowhere make little hands so that it looks like just numbers and time is just all messed up. So when they're done, it's going to just look like a whole bunch of melted clock all over the place. No rhyme or reason. And then I stretch the numbers that are near the stretched uh, areas. But they don't have to be in order, so you can have like a two here, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then do your hand, and then go back in, and I'm going to do one, and then two, this way, okay? And then a little hand pointing. And if you're uh, having a hard time, just make sure that your black is nice and thin because every time it gets too thick you're going to have a problem so keep checking for that and then I'm going to go back over and take some of the black and brown out and there is what it's going to look like and I'll show you when I am finished alright this is the finished look so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down as good as I can let me see here okay I don't know if you can see this really well but if you can't go ahead and look at my blog and I'll have them posted there with all of the colors showing and so anyways I hope you guys liked it and learned a lot and this was a harder design and I didn't know that it was going to be that hard when I first started so I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> Everyone say bye!